come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. You can find us every week right here on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and more. Please like, subscribe, or otherwise basically tell the entire world where you found us if you like what you hear here tonight. You can also find us on social media, various places such as Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Follow us on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. And these are the internet radio superstars who will be talking at you tonight. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela. Michaela. <laughs> what did we watch tonight? Why? <laughs> <laughs> we watched American Psycho 2. American Psycho 2? Two. Who even knew there was Two. such Wait, a thing? Colon, All-American all American Girl. girl. Yeah. Where does it say that on there? It I was looking that up. It At certain point, and it didn't on, t- on the title either. It did because I yeah. rented this movie yeah. with the subtitle All-American Girl. IMDb says that as well, that it's a subtitle. Oh, you, you can see the rental sticker on the inside? Oh, yeah. And it says, Michaela Be Kind Rewind. brought the VHS tape. And on the bottom, la- on the bottom, it the has the place it came from. No, it's the other side. Oh, yeah. um, no, the other side. How'd you come by this tape? tape? Video gallery. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Going out of business sale. <laughs> yeah. You just had to snatch Actually, it up? I found this at a garage sale. Mystery uh, suspense. Cents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mystery suspense sticker on there. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. category where we would find it in oh, the old yeah. video it was store. Pretty obvious. I don't think there was much mystery in that. <laughs> I, noticed, I noticed you didn't rewind it. <laughs> I, shame. I bought it at a garage sale for twenty five cents. Shame. <laughs> Wow. So what year was this uh, film made? 2002. Are we it's sure about that? 15 years old, yeah. Yes. Well, what year was American Psycho? 2000. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So there's no way this was made in like 1996 no. and, and then sat on a shelf? Yeah. No, because Mila <laughs> Kunis would have been 12 years old in 1996, uh, so no. Uh, 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 she was, was 14 years old when that 70s show started in 98, so. Oh. Very oh. true. She's very young. Yeah. She lied about her she age, lied about her to, age get to get on the show. show. Yeah. Is this her first feature film? Feels like it. I sure don't does. know. It sure does, Sean. <laughs> yeah. It might as well be. But here's That's the question, though. So it's t- 2002 this comes out. This is four seasons into that 70s show. Why is she even doing this movie? Well, she's trying she's to branch a, out. She's, she's got a steady out. paycheck. Well, yeah, but you don't just stick with that. You try and branch out. And you're like, I can, can When I you're I on a movies? network show with that many episodes a season? Like, yeah, but you have that. an off season. You do. Yeah, yeah but like, like the this movie, movie reeks of like, I'm trying to get started in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Not, I have an established career. What can I do? I wouldn't you know? call her doing that 70 show an established career, technically. That show was on for like eight seasons. It was, but just because you're on one show, I don't think means... That what that did launch her career though, right? But she's got to like, but she's got to move on from that somehow, well, right? And but so, what I'm saying is like horror movies are usually like the very very first thing actors do, right? Like look at Johnny Depp in A Nightmare on Elm Street, stuff like that. And so as I'm saying, she's already got this regular paycheck coming in from this hugely successful network show. Why is she doing this? Because it's the yeah. only thing that was offered to her. Plus, she gets. I, yeah, I, that's what I wonder. If it was I the only say, thing that she could get. A, like, it's the only thing she could get. B, it's the movie is her from top to bottom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, she's looking for something that shows off. It's a vanity face. project. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not necessarily vanity, but something that she can, like, it's all me. Like, yeah. I am the star of this movie. Yeah. So I can see, like, the attraction to that. That could be a reason. And maybe that 70s show wasn't that. I mean, like, who else came out of that as, like, a breakout? Ashton uh, Kutcher. Topher Grace. Okay, well, Topher. From, yeah, what, Topher Grace. Yeah. yeah. Wilmer Valderrama. There's a kind of it kind of made it minted a lot of stars. Yeah. Trying to think. That show was huge when it was on. It, was, it wasn't that long ago, it guys. But it should all be still in our memory. Know, yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is. I'm just trying to think. Like, I mean, like now, it, I you know don't think of any of those guys. But you're right. I mean, Ashton Kutcher was the big breakout. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't that big of a springboard for her at that period of time. But it seems like in the long term. She's the one who's benefited the most from, like, you know, she's still working now in, yeah. mm-hmm. in Hollywood. She's and the most Bad visible Mom's actor. Christmas is uh, Jupiter yeah. Sending. It's coming out. Yeah, yeah. Jupiter, Jupiter Sending. sending. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Where she plays Jupiter Jones. Uh-huh. From American Psycho 2 to uh, Jupiter Ascending, yeah. Mila Kunis keeps making those. She should fire her agent. The Kunis. Yes. That's what it yeah. comes down to. She is the Kunis. <laughs> we have the Tooch, now we have the Kunis. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's cute as a button, though. A little Something pixie, a psychotic button. little pixie in uh, American Psycho 2. Adorable. Mm. Mm-hmm. So how does this movie relate to the original American Psycho? Barely. It doesn't. <laughs> uh, this movie actually...
originally was written not to be a sequel to American Psycho. You're kidding me. Uh, oh my it was, God, this is brand new information. <laughs> it was originally called The Girl Who Wouldn't Die. Terrible ah. title. Um, and they saw the huge financial success of American Psycho, and that movie didn't cost a lot to make. So they wrote a really slapdash beginning to tie them together mm-hmm. in which you'd see someone that looks nothing like Christian Bale. The slappiest of dashes, I yes. would say. <laughs> you see someone who looks nothing like Christian Bale. Um, this is this is like my huge sticking point with this movie is that they really well established in American Psycho the way Patrick Bateman operates and his methodology and how he's not sloppy and he's really good at what he does and he evades capture and he's really good at it and like the way they personify him in the like prologue of this movie to connect these two like that's not the Patrick Bateman we've been shown no, before at, not all. at all like he first of all he never kills like like he would never kill someone with a witness present he doesn't ever do that like he's always alone with his victim when he kills him yeah and she was bleeding on the floor yeah he doesn't that do would that not happen no uh, he had newspapers <laughs> he would not allow that it was, not at all. it was a huge point of the first movie how there was newspapers all over the floor in Big his deal. apartment mm-hmm. that was Big a whole deal. there was a whole talking point about that yeah so th- that just shows you that the writers of this movie probably have never even seen the first one no I would guess not. Do I wonder if they'd even read the the novel. I was right? going to say, do we know if Brett Eastnell saw this movie? He hates this movie. <laughs> he I hates would assume. This I, think movie. I, I would assume everyone. Mila hates Kunis this movie. thinks it's terrible. You know, yeah. everyone involved is like wants it buried. Basically, what about William Shatner? I I'm sure he. I don't think he's terrible. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot like, find any information on how he got involved. Like somebody said, Bill will pay you some money to be in this. This is the at the probably at the same period in time when he was hosting Full Moon me- movies on the Sci Fi Channel. William Probably, Shatner's Full yeah. Moon Theater or whatever the hell it was? Yeah. Or was this the Denny Crane era from Boston no, Legal? The... Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Maybe. That era. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I mean, so it, it so, because uh, that's another thing, too. I thought Brett Easton Ellis, like his companion piece to American Psycho, wasn't it Rules of Attraction? Yes. 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 Yeah, With because James I think. Vanderbeek. And that's book, yeah. Patrick Bateman's brother. Sean right? Bateman, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this movie sets up at the beginning that Patrick Bateman is killed mm-hmm. by the Mila Kunis character Mila when Kunis. she's a, a child, yes. right? So yep. this is the formation of her psychology. She's held hostage, her and her babysitter, who goes on a date with Patrick Bateman. She's yeah. trying to catch him? Was that the idea there? The, the- I think she was trying to because... Well, we'll get to it later. But yeah, I think that that's what she was trying to do because Patrick Bateman was so elusive and no one could, you know, because everyone knows, knew, apparently everyone that knew Patrick he was Bateman out there, was a but they couldn't killer. catch him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you take it, an American Psycho? Here is a question for it, right? Your interpretation of the book and the movie, mm-hmm. all in his head, or he was actually a serial killer? I think he was actually a serial killer. That's how I interpret. Basing it, it just mm-hmm. off the movie, I think he was a serial killer. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I liked it. It plays better to me if he's a serial killer, but yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if the intent was this is all in his head. But I kind of read the book now. I haven't read the book. You, oh, really? Uh, really? The book is like this. It was. It's very slow. It was so controversial at the time that that thing came out because it was so graphic in the shit that he would do yeah. in his murders and just mm-hmm. like went on for paragraphs of mm-hmm. yeah horrible heinous shit that is not in the movie version. So yeah. more gore, less studio is what you're saying. No. No, 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 there no, 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 but like he, have you ever read any Ellis like Less Than Zero or anything? Mm-mm. He's got a very weird style. But yeah, like he does the, because like his book is like a commentary on like eighties Wall Street and like eighties yuppie culture. Yeah. The like he literally will talk for pages about what a piece of lobster looks like on a plate. Mm-hmm. Like the food description goes on for page. Every description of everything, like everything, think, like, goes like, on for pages. Like Hemingway on acid. Yeah. You know, his like. And taking down yuppie culture. Yeah. yeah. He details, you know, in the movie, his morning routine and like all mm-hmm. these different things that he goes through. It's like there's a chapter on that. Like, so everything 
So that's why the murders are not, you know, out of the ordinary in the the way he describes them. Right. He goes into extreme graphic detail on everything in his life. Every single thing. Yeah, everything. That's a good way of putting it. Super meticulous uh, yeah. character. Stick with the movie. And, they, yeah. they, they did that. The descriptions they did very well, especially the yuppie stuff when they're uh, the uh, business card scene. Yeah. Stuff yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah. They, yeah. They, I mean, they, at least they make it yeah. interesting in the movie. Oh, yeah. Well, Mary Heron did a good job yeah. of, like, taking what was important really good job. and yeah. doing yeah. it that way. Yeah. Because you still you still get the heart of it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But some. Somehow, by her taking out the uh, the graphic brutality, it like made me able to see the humor. Like I did not read the book as a funny book, but the mu- the movie is a black comedy. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's sure. Hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think I think it's just. I think this just happens naturally when you put things visually, you know, mm-hmm. versus, you know, on a page. I think it's well, going to Well, you're not sidelined by the, like, you know, I can't have this humor and this, like, disgusting, you know. Right. No, if you, if you go. <laughs> right next to each yeah, other. Yeah, if you go full force with what's described in the book, you have a different movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have a completely different movie. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't think that's what she wanted. I think she, I think what what we got is what she wanted. Yeah. And it played out very well, obviously, because it's a great movie. The movie's a fucking modern classic, man. And that was written by Genevieve Turner, who Mm -hmm. plays one of the victims in the movie. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it originally supposed to have Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes, he was attached for a while. directed at that point? That I don't know. There was somebody else. Of course I (laughs) can't remember who, but there was another director who was like, ooh, it's going to be this person and Leonardo DiCaprio. Then DiCaprio backed out. The funding fell apart. And then Mm -hmm. Mary Herring got it with... uh, uh, Christian Bale, mm-hmm. a breakout role for that man. Yeah, yeah, but somewhere the rights like went you know down to the gutter of Hollywood, and uh, another yeah. production company was able to pick this up and said, you know, what we need American Psycho two, <laughs> good old TriStar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what can we do? Well, we've got this script laying around. Yeah, we'll just add a scene at the beginning of it. It's close enough, right? It's about a girl who is a serial killer. Which would I mean? This could movie could have been. Good, good enough on its own. You like caught yourself and then don't say it. We're all waiting for you. You like caught yourself. Yeah. The movie Patrick didn't ba- need Bateman. that connection to be what it is. Yeah, that's even enough, I think. That's very true, but you wouldn't have the brand on it. Why else would anybody see it if it didn't have the brand of like, I liked American Psycho. Because Mila Psycho. Kunis is on that 70s show? Yeah. And she's in this movie? Exactly. I think she's pretty marketable in 2002. It's got the Kunis. And William Shatner is pretty fucking marketable. Always marketable. Always marketable. So it's William Shatner, although he's not. He's nowhere on the cover. Of I mean, he's, this, he's got on a little picture on the back, side. and that's uh, his name is it. nowhere. Though. Not a selling point on American Psycho too, because I think if you got Shatner in it, it's immediately a campy movie. Well, right? this, I think well, you know, it's like putting David Hasselhoff in a movie. Yeah, the people that made this. I'm not convinced they saw the first movie. Um, no, I don't at think all. So. If no, they I think did, Michaela's right. It was they just did, a script yeah. that they had. That mm-hmm. yeah. They did not right. get the point of it at all. I don't think they had enough wanted to dedicate enough time to make that connection accurately. Let's, let's be honest. Nobody involved in this movie did any fucking research on anything. Oh, no. <laughs> on anything. I'm I feel like the script that, well, is written in like a weekend on a dare. Yeah. Like, hey, man. <laughs> on a dare. <laughs> you, got, you got this three-day holiday weekend writing me a script to American Psycho. I was convinced uh, that William Shatner was uh, giving his own little anecdotes about the uh, Psycho and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that scene where he's on the stairway. Yeah. I'm like, that's just him ad-libbing. I think he knows that stuff. It Probably. Sound, it sounded like, like that's he, the research right there. It's just the shit that Will, Bill Shatner knows himself. It sounded like he just skimmed a Wikipedia about serial killers, though. He was like, he was naming the most basic general facts most people know about them. Well, like, I mean, he right. wasn't saying anything earth they had an, I mean, the, the college, they're... they're uh, course that they were t- that they were in they had an entire class on nicknames of serial killers yeah, that was a whole why class would that period. ever be a class period i know why it's it's important to get into quantico holly you need to know that to get into quantico <laughs> why ah. names they yeah. given? well that's a, the big the first big disappointment in the first big disappointment first yes. <laughs> like she grows up and wants to basically be dexter this is the idea that like was kind of thrown out there at the beginning of the movie yeah. immediately why i'm like aha now i know why michaela chose this is <laughs> because she really killed, still not, i don't know why I still <laughs> because she killed patrick bateman and then she basically you know they borrow from the original american psycho the uh uh, laborious voiceover, right? So she explains mm-hmm. her character 
to the audience and she says that everything she today. wants, so does Patrick she wants Bateman, to kill no. people, but she's going to kill uh, serial killers. Mm-hmm. But but she's narrating like she sounds like Jackie from that '70s show. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, like Mila Kunis, <laughs> no offense, girl, but you do not have the best like no. like voiceover voice. Uh, yeah, I just want someone to be go, damn, yeah. yelling at her like Ashley Kutcher did. Well, shut up, Meg. <laughs> yeah, damn, yeah. Jackie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, Jackie. <laughs> do you believe Mila Kunis as a serial killer? No. Um, like, I think she was just overdoing it. I feel like if she would have dialed it back a little bit, she has an intensity about her that is believable. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think she's, it, the, the camp factor is just so, uh, it's just dialed up so much in this movie. And that, she, and that and the fact that she is, she is, uh, visibly acting in this movie, yeah, mm-hmm. which does not if help she, her. If she were to do this movie now, mm-hmm. I think she would do a great job. Yeah. I think because so too. she's worked, she's worked on her craft. Well, she was probably like, she was probably like nineteen when she made this movie. True, but she, she looks it. Yeah, but she'd been acting since she was like six. Yeah, that's true. She's been in lots of soap operas, mm-hmm. bit parts in movies. She'd had a like a really active career so far. Mm-hmm. So she's not like wet behind the ears. Yeah, I don't even think that she would be good for this movie now, even after she's acting some things. Like that wouldn't be a draw for me. I don't think. I don't know it would be good, but she'd be better at it. Well, sure. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I agree. She'd be better. Yeah. Well, what was your uh, your problem with it? Because I was like watching her performance, especially against some of the other actors, mm-hmm. where it was like, you know, now that you're saying she's been acting for a long time, I guess I can see that because there's a lot of facial tics that she does. A lot, yes. And a lot of... It's all in the face, yeah. She's all trying to... But I don't know if that's like her... Like the fault, you know, you're saying that she came off as a bad actress. Is, well, let's, did let's, she come off as a bad actress, or the editor and the director wasn't there to, you know, shape the performance? There's that, but it all starts with the script, and this script is horrible. Hackney dialogue, platitudes, like as far as the eye can see, like it's it's the script is bad. Yeah, tell it's us bad. what you really think. Ah, it's bad. It's very bad, Colin. <laughs> it's not written well. <laughs> horrible. <clears throat> People don't talk like this. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> but so I'm just saying that that didn't help any of the actors in this movie at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No matter what their acting range was, mm-hmm. the script did them no favors. So and that's Morgan problem Freeman. number one. Morgan Freeman's a terrible director. Morgan J. Freeman. Morgan Freeman is a terrible oh, person. Oh, Morgan, <laughs> Morgan J. Freeman. Freeman. Morgan J. Freeman. <laughs> Who is this man? Well, I don't know. What else has he done? He is. Uh, he has not directed much, but currently he uh, is probably rolling dough is because he's an MTV uh, TV show producer. Um, oh, I thought you were gonna say like VJ for some reason. No, I'm like, I did too. <laughs> no, he produced Laguna Beach, um, uh, Teen Mom, Sixteen and Pregnant. So he is rolling. He in the directed money. and produced. Yeah. An He's episode. like a genius at MTV. Yeah. Basically, he directed and produced an episode of Dawson's Creek, which comes through very much in this movie. I yeah. think there's a lot of the dialogue that feels very Dawson's Creek to me because yeah. that show they do not speak like normal people no, either. So, well, listen, that show. Well, I don't know, they, it's got like a heightened yeah. kind of uh, uh, specific voice. Right. This is just. Like cliche dialogue. Yeah, this is cliche. Yeah, very cliche. Yeah. So her plan is to get into the behavioral science wing of uh, this college mm-hmm. because there's a teacher there, played by the great William Shatner. Yep, That's yeah. dramatic. Pause. You're, you're gonna <laughs> yeah. agree with this. Uh, I'm yeah. sure. uh, and uh, he's always looking for a teacher's assistant that w- that every year, every semester, I guess, the teacher's assistant. Ends up going on to Quantico. Nine out of ten. Mm-hmm. But they get to become real FBI agents. Mm-hmm. They get to yeah. go hunt serial killers. Mm-hmm. Which is what she wants to, to be. do. Mm-hmm. She wants to be Clarice Starling. Right. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for her, there are a series of competitors mm-hmm. for this mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. And this is these they're, these are the three that she's decided are competitors. Yeah. That's just, true. We only, get, I mean, the yeah. movie is all from her perspective, yeah. so we only see, you know. This this was, was, yeah. Yeah. She decided these competitors. This is like the proto how to get away with murder, kind of, it feels like. So you're saying Anybody this ever? movie was ahead of its time? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. I'm sorry for the association. You walked right into that one. I guess I did. <laughs> Yeah, she decides, she picks out the four, what is it, four most capable people in the class who could possibly, you know, give her a run for her money. So mm-hmm. what does she do? She murders them. Murders okay, so them all. if that is the, okay, so we're, we're let, you know, I mean, you're going into the movie, she's on the cover, American Psycho 2, it's Mila Kunis. The beginning of the, so the first person is murdered by someone in a uh, hoodie who, um, 
Oh, how did this first person? Oh, it was the admissions. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. She got beat yeah. with the plaque. Yeah. Feckman. Got Feckle. beat with the, cl- Feck- the, the, the plaque. And then 30. we see a uh, male character uh, wearing a hoodie going to Mila Kunis' room. All right, so why why waste your time on the misdirection then? Because I was thinking at this point, having not seen the movie before, I'm like, is this going to be a movie where, you know, her clear stated goal is she's going to pursue serial killers? Are there going to be like all these serial killers drawn to this teacher and she's going to end up picking them off? No, Colin. No. We abandoned that right <laughs> off the bat. Know. Why even go the, the, the they were half just, step? They were just down trying to be clever. Feels very first draft, the script yeah. of this movie. Very first draft. Yeah. I mean, because why the would I want to do that, a lot of things? The second person that she kills, it clearly shows like it's her doing the murder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, boom. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'm like, what, mm-hmm. what was the lead up to this? Question number one. Question number <laughs> one. We're going to have to talk to the screenwriters to get an answer on that. I'm sure they have plenty of time on their hands. Based yeah. On this script. <laughs> So yeah, there's uh, the 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 class is about the nicknames of of serial killers, mm-hmm. and like that doesn't go anywhere, right? That's yeah. just like uh, we're gonna bring up Wikipedia facts of H. H. Yeah, Holmes we're just and gonna Albert name Fish. people. It literally like skimmed the, the the list of serial killers on Wikipedia. Yeah. It felt like they were going alphabetical for a while there too. Yeah, the lazy research in the script writing, you know, or for at sure. least by era, yeah. by timeline, if nothing else. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, 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 I'm interested in serial killers, but I honestly don't know a ton of them off, like by name offhand. So the th- like three that they mentioned in this movie are all like the ones I know, <laughs> like, like the really? most accessible ones. H. Yeah. H. Holmes, like Albert Fitt. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, okay. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. You Bundy, know, yeah. you guys know a mm-hmm. lot. <laughs> yeah. So the series of murders start happening in the dorm. You know, but I don't even know if this aspect of the. Uh, if it were like the, no one ever finds the bodies, right? Ooh, so no one knows that uh, there's a serial killer on campus. Mm-hmm. No, this is it's all discovered yeah. like because that's the Bateman in her. She's so good at that part of it. <laughs> that's <laughs> that part of it. Just that part. There's no Bateman. In she does have a lot of witnesses to her crimes, yeah, though. She is she really also, sloppy like, was, about that part. Yeah, she was also like moving bodies into the car later on in front of a building that was yeah, like yeah. in yeah. operation, yeah. Mm-hmm. like open windows and, and lights on and everything. And the only and the only ones that she hid, she hid like the, the she stole the identity. She hid that girl, and she yeah. does hide chat in her for a little bit. But the security guards out in the open. Yeah, security guards on the open. Yeah. For the, like three days. Yeah, like three days. The, the, um, the lady from administration is just at her house. Like these people. The go, one guy she threw down by that riverbank where she went yeah, jogging. Yeah. These people go missing and she leaves them like at their yeah. house. Patrick Bateman somehow, would be ashamed. You know, he would be embarrassed by her sloppiness. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> He's all about his image. He would be very ashamed of this. See, so that should be like, it's, uh, you know, Patrick Bateman takes somebody under his wing. He meets another serial killer. Then he gets killed somehow. Then she ends up like, you know, following in his legacy. But none of that. There's like, no. there really no, is, no. aside from the fact That's that I killed Patrick movie Bateman. Right that would be a much better movie. It'd be a much better yeah. movie. Yeah. I mean, because it sets up a Dexter situation that never materializes because yeah. she never finds a serial killer. No. She yeah. is the psycho. Who's going around knocking people off on her climb up the? It's not even the the, mm-hmm. the educational ladder or mm-hmm. the ladder of success, right? Yeah, it's like you got to knock out your rivals yeah. on the way. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert for the Dexter novels, not the TV show, the novels. In the third book, they they kind of really hint at the fact that like Dexter is going to teach someone else to be the next Dexter. So mm-hmm. like this is a theory that's been explored in better mediums. Than, yeah. The, yeah. than this I mean, movie never even went there for. Yeah. Because then he he eventually did do that on the show, kind of. He tried to. I would okay. I don't want to say too much about the I books. Thought... Not that anybody's reading them, but like the, it it is someone in much closer proximity in the books than it is on the show. Damn. Like no no no. Damn. It's it's child. There are children involved in it, so oh. that's why it's it's like it was. That's why they didn't do it on the show because it, they thought it'd be too controversial to see like mm-hmm. Dexter teaching a child how to kill people. So uh, uh, yeah, no. So. Instead, we get movies like uh, Kick Ass, where there's Nick Cage teaching a young girl how to kill people. Mm-hmm. Like it's acceptable in some forms, but why yeah, do yeah, exactly. You put it in comic book format, it's okay. Yeah. They're superheroes, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <It's> super- <laughs> that's what it is. It yeah, yeah. But if it's like real. Mm-hmm. Closer to real life, then no, mm. we can't do that. Well, the movie, I mean, like it's missing the uh, cultural critique of the original film. Yes, mm. definitely, uh, big time. It yeah. does try to maintain some type of 
I was going to say like black humor, but it's not black humor in this movie. No. It's not like that kind of grisly, off color humor. It's. Is it supposed to be funny? I think, I think it is. Is it? I think so. Oh yeah, because okay, we're we're beating around the bush here, but there's a part in the beginning when she kills the like rich kid who's like buying his oh, way through college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She strangles him with a condom, which I don't think which would is never physically happen. possible. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, there's so much elastic in them, you couldn't get a tight enough like seal on it. Yeah, but the, mm-hmm. she strangles the guy with a condom, and then after he's dead, she like like shakes out the condom in a real gross shot for a second there and then says ribbed for her pleasure and like that's definitely meant to be funny that's supposed to, that's a punchline like yeah 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 that's meant to be funny Set it up for the down. height of comedy i present the exhibit a the uh, uh, garçon at the oh, restaurant Jesus. which is free mean garson 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 frequented many times in this movie because apparently this is the only place they had a place to shoot and then they figured here's how we get all strands of the plot Oh yeah, there's only three locations in this whole this whole movie. Yeah. Like Yeah. But isn't he supposed to be comic relief? Like the fact that I he keeps so. on delivering the menu items to the wrong people at the table. He was supposed also to be very funny. carefully. Yeah, he, he wasn't. This is funny. my question to he you. Was, like, he was just uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean he did look like a like poor man's Jerry Seinfeld a little bit, you yeah. know, but he wasn't. Way, funny. Cause you know, well, if you, you didn't know it was his first day. He says it's his first day. And just the way he delivers a drink where he's just Which walking again over very slowly. Again, clearly whoever made or whoever wrote this has never worked in a, in a restaurant because <laughs> Your first day, you shadow. Yeah, you don't. You, you don't, don't wait tables, tables by yourself your at a nice day. French restaurant. Yeah, no. Yeah, no research. But in a comedy, you have uh, goofy little observed pieces of behavior, like the guy at the restaurant doesn't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> the music of this movie. <laughs> oh, Lord. like that screams Lord. comedy to me, or at least they're trying. The to The fact be that fun. it's like those weird plucky bars. strings the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. It's whole, very Dexter knockoff. It feels like the same loop but though. It came like before twenty times. I know it did. Yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, it's the same. I mean, it's the. Uh, they bought three songs for this movie, and they use them I think as much the as they score. can. That's the actual the dude who did the score. Oh, you're talking about the. I think the 90s. they were no. I think that was. I think even the score was stock music they bought. I, I don't think they had anyone write a song. Composer. The yeah. guy who collected the CDs. The guy, like, mm, the guy who one. went online. Yeah, it's funny though. When we were watching, when I was watching the credits, there was a lot more songs listed than I remember being I, in this movie. I, okay, I did not notice a Rilo Kylie song in yeah. this movie. I saw that in the credits. I was like, where was that? Yeah. You know, and if you watch the trailer for this movie, they play like a like a sound alike, um, a Lenny Kravitz American Woman. Like it literally <laughs> is like the instrumental version of that song because yeah. you know she's an all American girl. They really, they really got to let hammer that home. You well, know? yeah, she wears the t- the t shirt, the American that says flag that. shirt. It says all American girl on it Mm -hmm. for like most of the scenes in this movie. Yeah. Well, it's not true. She is a sharp dresser. Yeah. (laughs) But that shirt shows up a lot. That's the only thing sharp about this movie. The wardrobe. (laughs) Yeah. If that costume designer. Who basically just went out and bought all this stuff. Yeah, basically. Who bought the three different outfits she wears yeah. in this movie. She even borrows one from another girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, you need a really killer dress for you to wear. Eh, we don't have the money. Uh, <laughs> just take hers. Just grab her. <laughs> which is, yeah, which is hers because they found, they shows the picture of them taking down the girl's body later on and she's just in bra and underwear. So she yeah. took her dress. Mm-hmm. She did, yeah. yeah. How much money do you guys think this movie costs to make? I know, so I'm not going to answer. $200,000. Three million. What do you think, Holly? Really? Seven hundred thousand. I'd go with a million. Ten million dollars. Shut up! On what? Exactly. William Shatner. Did Mila Kunis get nine of it? (laughs) She couldn't. It looks like a student film, right? Like it looks like the quality. It feels like a first film. Was it his first movie? No, it was not. It was like his fourth or fifth. Get the fuck out of here! Really? Yeah, it was. Man, sometimes you don't work up. It's just lateral movements. (laughs) Yeah. It's, it's like got to be that situation where, like, you make a movie and, like, they've seen dailies or something, right? Uh-huh. And the movie hasn't actually come out and performed and tanked. So they give you, like, another project before the first one's sure. like, Sure, oh, you always you book your next job on, before yeah. your first job's over. So you've got four movies out before, or four movies done before the first one comes out or yep. some shit like that. And when people see it, they're like, oh, Jesus, this guy doesn't know anything about making movies. <clears throat> That's not entirely true. He knew how to operate a camera. It had to go to Shatner. <laughs> I mean, what would it have gone on? 
uh, he is in this movie more than you th- than you would think. Like you would think you hear he's in this movie, you think he's going to show up, you know, like one or two no, scenes. He's, he's in it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. He's a co-starring he's William Shatner. Yeah, yeah, so that means that you got to give him a room somewhere, room and board, meals, maybe. I don't know. Like uh, what's yeah. in his uh, nine million dollar catering? That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, uh, the catering store. <laughs> he wants the stipend. best catering. Yeah. Because our locations are basically like his classroom, sur- classrooms throughout the school, the, the shrinks, dorms, the, shrinks the office. dorms. The shrink's office was probably just an office at the dorms at yeah. the school. So. It was probably the backwards view of Shatner's office. <laughs> right. That's the other side of the room. Yeah. yeah. And the restaurant. Am I missing and something? Restaurant. In various outdoor locales. Yeah, but which are easy enough to. Oh, there was. Well, I was going to say there's a car explosion, but there's not. No, there's not. There's, not. there's CGI <laughs> flames. There are, there but... are cars. It's uh... done like the, the great low budget way of doing it. The car goes off frame really fast. Yeah. Everybody comes running up in close up, and then there's the they're, glow. They're Turn crazy. on the lights. Yeah, they're they're the orange light light. Light. <laughs> And Holly goes, Oh, they couldn't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plum house method. Yeah, yeah, but then unfortunately, they do cut it at some point in the daily system, you know, when they were putting it together, like. Jeez, Morgan, we really need we to need see to that yeah. car. So they CG some, uh, or whatever, you know, composite some fake yeah. fire yeah. on a shot. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's yeah. like, if you can't afford it, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Or don't write it into your mm. script. Jason Blum says that if they have a script with a car crash in it, they either show the before, the after, or just like the wrecked car. He said they will never show yeah, it on I think screen because they don't afford off. it. I think yeah, you can yeah. do the, yeah. you can what? have it drive off, you hear the explosion, everybody comes running up like, yeah. oh my God, and didn't, then you cut and see the fucking thing on right. fire it's just all on fire. Didn't yeah. we watch gotta, something recently that we're like, yeah, it works. I don't remember what it was. It was recent. We talked about this. Uh... They didn't show the car. The, it was probably the dog Pet cemetery. You don't, don't actually remember. see like the kid get hit because I don't he, remember. Yikes, there was a lot of dog too, soldiers but... where we felt like they were doing a good job cutting yeah. between like. Oh yeah, yeah, where yeah. that was it. Stuff. Because yeah. there, there was a it. car explosion in that, wasn't it? No, they blew they everything that. up. You see, a, yeah, you see that, yeah. the car blow up, yeah. I don't remember, but we've seen it done well before. Yeah. Like yeah. And Blumhouse usually does do it well when they do it, so yeah. Either. And usually Blumhouse movies have less of a budget than this movie had, so... Ten yeah. million? Yeah, that would be a... Ten million, especially in two thousand two dollars a... like... Jesus, what did they do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Shatner does have a large enough presence in the film. His acting style is still very weird, right? He didn't do, like, the halting uh, William Shatner delivery that I'm kind of used to. It was more mm. like... Uh, Sean, what are you doing over there? Are you fucking with? He feels like he's half awake. Like they, like you know what, you know what it is. He was napping in his trailer, and they shook him awake, and they're like, "Yeah, come do the scene now, man." And no, no, like, they he's actually like half probably awake. literally snuck cameras in there to do the scene where they woke him up. Oh my god, the scene where he wakes up on the couch. That, he was that probably was oh my trailer. <laughs> Guarantee it. <laughs> Like, yeah, just go and wake him up and we'll shoot it. <laughs> well, Bill Shatner, his character, is having an affair with one of his students because I think that's just what you do when you're a professor in college. You sleep yeah. with in your movies, students. at least. And I'm because, like, fuck, well, I went to the wrong college. Yeah. I, because apparently, pop he's culture, yes. beat them off with a stick. Like, they're everywhere he goes. Like, is that in his contract? Like, I'll do this movie. I and mean, that's why he wanted to do the movie. <laughs> yeah. Like, we'll surround you with women. All the time, all these young women are just like, oh, tell me more, Bobby. Tell me Which more. Which is so oh, no, gross. So Bobby gross. Bobby Steinman? What was his name? Bobby Stark, Stark, Starkman. 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 Yeah. He's probably like, please call me Billy. It's like, uh, mm-hmm. creepy. Mm-hmm. Creepy William Shatner. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't yeah. Know. Probably, Apparently yes. the Quantico position is so desirable that they're like, desirable. there are like and a good the only 10 way women. To get in. Yeah. It's the only way. Mm-hmm. So now we know how he gets his uh, TAs every year. Yeah. So the only other... Yeah, well, all right, I won't <laughs> go with that job. I won't do it. I'll, I'll do it. Sorry, I started. I'll just, stop. Just, no, just do it. Do it. Nope, just do it. It's done. It's over. Resist, Sean. You're better than that. Uh, so I don't the, think he is. I think he should say. Well, the only other major character in this drama that's not a victim initially, right? So the the the, the weight of the film then, uh, solving the whatever is going <laughs> the on. Weight and, the, the weight of the film. Because it's so heavy. The weight of the plot. It's such a burden to wear. <laughs> falls upon the psychiatrist. Yeah, oh, real Nick strong Knight, here. Vampire detective. Nobody remembers Forever Night, the what TV else, show. What else was he in? No one remembers that, Colin. I don't remember. He's been in other stuff. It's like Gerard Wynn Davies or something like that. If it, if his name is Gerard, that's the laziest fucking thing because the restaurant was, was called Shay Gerard. Name? <laughs> it's like it's like Gerard, whatever the fuck his name is. He's a three-name guy. But he was in that show Forever Gerard Night. 
And I think he has done <laughs> something else after that, but but we'll never know. I don't know. Michaela is Captain Googling this right I'm, now. I'm trying to find out right now. I'm to figure it out. Um, but he plays a psychiatrist. Why was she going to a psychiatrist? Doesn't say. She just ends up going to a psychiatrist. Well, like, if this was in a post-Dexter world, this movie took place, I would say it was a reference to Dexter because in the time is a flat circle version of this movie uh in dexter there's an episode where he a series of episodes where he goes to a therapist to, because the ther- he's like stalking the therapist to kill him and he tells the therapist his name is patrick bateman yeah oh, really? I remember that. Yeah. yeah so time is a flat circle guys yeah interesting <laughs> I but we don't I, live in a i think in this she just i think she does it for kicks She's, yeah i think so i got the impression like- that she was sent there for some reason which I but don't they, know why, because right, she but says it's like my... Was cut out. Yeah. This is, this is my first session, first time ever being with a psychiatrist. And then she proceeds to freak the psychiatrist out by being extremely blunt and direct and trying to, you know, as an actor, affect this sociopathic personality, yeah. which scares the shit out of him after one... Uh, Session. Apparently. He's the worst therapist he's ever. He's the worst therapist ever. Worst I'm therapist. supposed to like. You are the person who can actually like interact with these people, right? You've yeah. been trained. You have the yeah. the the training to mm-hmm. get into the mind of the, or at least somehow like talk them down. No, it's whatever. fucking ridiculous. He diagnoses her after one session, and then he breaks freaks out. He breaks the. The confidentiality after like a minute. As soon as she she's like, not even she, out of his office yet, and he's already in the breaking waiting it. room. Mm-hmm. Like she's he not doesn't gone have yet. time for your laws. Yeah, but okay, how many, But I'm sorry. Like with psychologists, they have to run across people that fit the description of a sociopath. All the are they time. all just? That's what I'm saying. Like it happens. <laughs> that that happens well, literally. Because it's their, it's their job. That is like, literally oh, their shit. job. That is right. literally so their the, job. What are yeah. they running off to the whatever to every time they run into one? It's like oh, I'm scared shitless. Like you, motherfucker, you went to school for this. Yeah. <laughs> Identify these people. His, like, oh, all right, that's interesting. And I his line of questioning one. was such bullshit. And he didn't take notes. He didn't take notes questions? on anything. It is the very uh, um, shallow version of a psychologist. It's just like this is what psychologists do. Well, that and like he was so like taken aback by how honest and like just straightforward she was. But like as a therapist, isn't that's, that what you want? You don't want to have to pry it out of fucking people. You want them to be able to open up to you. And she is able to. And he's like turned off by that. He's you, like, no, like the. If any, if it was anyone's first day on the job in this movie, it was that fucking therapist, not the waiter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Seriously. Exactly. Yeah. It's a good point. Uh, so I don't it. even remember him asking or her questions. I remember her asking him a bunch of questions. Yeah. Like, what her, is going he on asked here? Some bullshit. Like, if you could be anyone else, who would you be? A therapist would what never. What kind ask of that. question is a that? A therapist would never ask that. A good running joke would have been if the waiter was shown doing different jobs and it was his first day on each job and like at the end of the movie he's like sitting down in the psychologist's office like oh yes alright so I'm going to ask you a few questions and then he would get freaked out by meeting a sociopath or like he ends up like oh it's my first day as a professor and he's just really bad at everything but keeps trying it. That would be so great. That would be great. That would be funny. That's a good that, joke for that, that would be funny. character. That would, would this be movie have played better if they just had actually gone for like let's just make the comedy version of American like the Full on comedy Just go version for of American it. Psycho. It would- well, seeing the movie we saw, yeah, it would have been. Uh, yeah. It, it, could, yeah. it would not have been. How could it not have been? Yeah. Saying, alternatively, if they went for the straight, like, uh, thriller version of American Psycho, also would have been a good way to go? No, because it's not going to be better than the first no, American not. Psycho. We like, already got the perfect version of that. Yeah, American you can't Psycho. Just a little, do that a little again. thrill, a little comedy. It was yeah. just perfect. Yeah. 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 But, like, the, the condom kill scene is, like, my favorite scene in this movie because it's so ridiculous. And, like, but it, so it kind of sets this bar of ridiculousness that it never lives up to again. Yeah. And so if it would have kept that level of insanity or even even gone up from there throughout the rest of the movie, it would have been a better movie. Well, I'm disappointed that even the murder scenes are basically all handled off they screen because they don't have the kill. money to do that. Where did that they $10, had $10 million, million dollars, Colin? Yeah. <laughs> they don't have the money. Yeah. Ten million. Cocaine? What is going on? I don't, what do they do? They hang one girl. Yep. Well, they don't even show that. It happens off screen. Yep. Uh, the ice pick gets... in the library is off screen. You just see her go, come down with it. The, the, yeah. the plaque the, in the, uh, in is the in the reflection of the microwave. <clears throat> Nicely painted blood on a microwave, and then mm-hmm. all you see is just <laughs> yep. down in yep. a puddle yep. of blood. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Trying to. And Shatner, Shatner gets blown oh, out a window. She blows him out the window. <laughs> yeah. Like Not sexually blows. <laughs> oh, no. It would have been not, better. Not, not like that with dynamite. Did you see that movie where William Shatner got blown out of a window? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, if that's the movie, I would be yeah. talking about this movie if William Shanner actually got blown out of a window. <laughs> that would be great. Dynamite, but okay, he gets blown out a window. All right, oh. uh, mm, interesting. <laughs> Uh, I'm, copyright. I'm keep. That's my idea. I'm keeping that. Somebody gets blown out of window. Copyright. Copyright. Sean. I was yeah. you're not even giving that to us. No, that's, that's mine. You. Yeah. You, you I, mean, I don't one. want it. Yeah, take it. I don't want to write that. This is so. my, I'm never. This is my, no, because every time I'm gonna put it in a movie, I'm gonna be like, this is my ode to American Psycho 2. Yeah. And everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping that one. Well, what does actually happen to poor old Shatner? Well, he he shoves a handful of what is probably Ambien in his mouth. He has like we see. We see a big, big fucking pill container, which we have not been set up for that he has any sort of condition that he needs to take pills. So for all we know, he's doing these recreationally because I mean, we that don't. The whiskey bottle he's got on his. Well, desk. yeah, yeah. The, the name brand of it was re- was what Rip Van Winkle is what it was called. I, I thought that was really weird. Yeah, um, whiskey. He takes like a big chug of that and shoves a whole bunch of pills it's in like his Admiral mouth. Like Admiral Wilson. Yeah, I guess they assume like his interaction with the therapist and the fact that he's taking sabbatical it sets us up enough to like we shouldn't be. Surprised surprised that he's taking that he's self-medicating yeah Yeah. but i like i thought he was buddies with i didn't think i thought they were professional colleagues not like yeah yeah Yeah. because they give you no indication that he is a patient they're talking like they're friends they're not talking like doctor patient so hey bobby yeah i'm just calling you because i got a patient or or a student of yours who's kind of crazy whoa (laughs) whoa whoa should you be telling me this no but you'll. <laughs> this is an accurate representation of what happens yeah. in this movie, yeah. almost verbatim. Almost word yeah. for word. Yeah, exactly. Since well, I've already broken the law by calling you, telling you this much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that and he has Bill Shatner on speed dial. Like you, you literally see him hit the one button, and you hear that we hear. He, that's because he a, has three patients. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, I have eight speed dials, so I can yeah. put one, all of them on there. One of them is his mother. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, though, that in this movie of $10 million worth that we see, you know, the kills on screen, the Foley artist felt the need to do the sound for the speed dial for us. Like, you hear the speed dial dial oh, yeah. for him while he's holding the receiver. So, nice detail work there, mm-hmm. but you couldn't follow that through on anything no else in the movie. No stone left untouched. <laughs> uh-huh. They got that $10 million, damn it. They're going to spend it somewhere. On everything... <clears throat> Detail, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. It did. It all went on the cocaine or something, yeah, right? Had I mean, to. that's like it's it. like or like the body in the closet you saw for like five seconds. Oh yeah, that's right. There yeah. was the uh, desiccated corpse. Mm-hmm. Something the about the way Mila Kunis plays when she's like in really gross situations like that does not work for me. Like, mm-hmm. no. like she's. I don't want to say she's too comedic because I understand what she's trying to do. But, like, it's just not... Something about it's just not working. Like, it just is too over the top to be believable, but not over the top enough to be campy. I don't, if that makes sense? Yeah. Is it uh, just alien enough to be a... Uh Psychopath. No, no, it's not because no. there's not because there's like so much, it feels like there's emotion behind it, and yeah, that's the thing with that's Patrick Bateman. Psychopathy doesn't ring true to me. Yeah, exactly. I doubt that's what they're they're aiming for the true portrayal of that, but it doesn't. <laughs> I can't imagine they would be. You don't but think that she did her research? No, and, I don't think she so. Was did like, at all, how do you Colin? play a psycho? You don't think she was in character on the side I of that I think she googled show? how do you play a psycho, <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we got. Maybe watch the trailer for the first one. Maybe. Yeah, she's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no Reese Witherspoon's in this movie? Yeah, Got right. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> this, this Phil is, Collins is sorely missed since we've sorely got, like, missed. Like, what oh. 90s music really is bad? As this movie has us believe? It is ba- I and I love 90s music, but this is bad. If they, I mean, if they had had good '90s music, it might have helped a little. bit. It would have helped yeah, a but lot. But this yeah. sounds like all. Well, but you <laughs> shut your whore mouth. Well, Colin. but Morgan J. Freeman hooked his friends up because there's, like we said, there's a Rilo Kylie song that is credited in this movie, and he directed a Rilo Kylie music video before he did this movie. So he's just. Hey, he's he's pulling a bunch of favors. I can get you in a movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> They're watching like it's American Psycho two, dude. This yeah. is Good. gonna be the biggest fucking thing. Of You're gonna get name dropped like it five times. Exciting and much anticipated sequel. Much anticipated. We were all after American Psycho as soon as it ended. Couldn't I wait. couldn't wait to see American Psycho two. Of now course, sh- I waited this long, so that tells you something. Yeah. Now, Sean, the tagline says it is angrier, Here, deadlier, deadlier, and sexier. sexier. Lies. All of them? Lies. <laughs> this video sits on a throne of lies. Um, this VHS tape that we have in front of us. 
There's there's another huge lie on the cover of this VHS tape. I'm sure that it's American Psycho too. Well, yeah. That well, she has blue eyes. Well, there's this, okay. There's several lies on the cover, <laughs> but but I think the biggest one is she's holding a sickle on the cover. Yeah. And um, the artwork the artwork is exactly the same as the original American Psycho artwork with Patrick Bateman holding a knife. Yeah. It like the font, the style of the art, yeah. everything is exactly the same. But there is no sickle in this movie she, at all. She doesn't even that she has never an ice shows pick. up. There's no, not even a yeah. knife. advertising. Yep. No. Yeah. No. No. No knife even. Yeah. No. This is all like slap a brand on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, this this is like the pinnacle of it. There's like it's one of the best examples of slap a brand on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like you hear like ah they just want to do it because it had the name recognition. Like this is like it. Like this is something you can just point to and be like this is nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. I was hoping yep. your example would be like a success, but no, this is uh, no. like, <laughs> this is money gr- grubbing uh, oh, 101. Yeah. yeah 101. I'm sure they made a killing they out of it. teach this in classes. Yeah. Everybody wants to see Mila Kunis. Um, <laughs> it's an American I tr- Psycho too. Well, I tried to look to see what the box office was compared to its budget. And Did it, it come it, out in theaters? It is not listed on Box Office uh-huh. Mojo at all. It's a direct It does not exist movie. on Box it's Office Mojo, yeah. so that means it made nothing. So It's got to be, yeah. I'm sure this was a huge loss. All right, so how does this move like, for America, yeah. money wise, <laughs> yeah. for, for psychos? Yes, yeah, first, yeah. yeah. You I know, mean, the yeah. dignity of film? I don't know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> everything. A loss on all levels, I would say. You know, Mila Kunis is kind of lucky she was able to like get over this hump and still have a right. career, honestly. Well, that's yeah. the great like, thing about yeah. like, it being a young career is yeah. just like yeah. you can do this. But Well, she's doing this while that well, 70 shows still going on. So it's like, yeah. Well, Which yeah. One? Well, I mean, I said, well, she did do Jupiter Ascending, so she's still making bad choices. But it's, but, but it's, it's but Mila the, Kunis. Yeah. It's not like she's not like hasn't ascended to a very high level where mm-hmm. doing something like those movies can drop you down and be like, oh, God, now where am I going to go in my career? Like, she's not like. She's like mid, she, mid B team. Like, <laughs> she's like mid tier, like stardom. So, you know, it's not a huge fallback if something like that doesn't mm-hmm. do so well, Jupiter mm-hmm. Ascending and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So she's lucky in that regard. I can see why on paper she would want to do Jupiter Ascending. I mean, it's Wachowski's. Why wouldn't you sure, say? Like, why would you say no to that? They want to cast you as the lead. Cloud Atlas came yeah. out before that. But still, and they had Tom Hanks and Halle Berry in it, right? Yeah, so, like, well. yeah, Speed but Racer didn't still. came out before that. Oh, fuck. Sp- fucking Speed Racer. Speed Racer. They don't yeah. have a very good track record. They I don't know don't. why anybody wants anything yeah. to do I with those know. guys. They, they, they did. But brainwashed us into thinking they're good. <laughs> they did it's the true. Matrix. But people love Sense8, don't they? Really Which? Sense8? Yeah, Sense8 Sense 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 is. Sense8? People very love that show. Yeah. But are they just, like, developers? I think they were producers and why not? Creators and all that. Are they JJ Abrams? on Lost kind of on Sensei? I think it's more involvement than that. I think it's a little bit more. Probably. Okay. But that show did just get canceled. Yeah, so. canceled. Yeah, but they're, yeah. but it, aren't they making like a, a movie? Hour, like a movie, yeah. yeah. So like there's still yeah. like there's fandom there. Not yeah. huge. Yeah. But in, in Hollywood circles they are still very highly held. So but on the, their name carries well, a lot. Maybe everybody likes their how do we movies. Get out of here? They just, uh, yeah. they're like these guys are geniuses we're and no choices. one goes turns out to see their movies. Uh, yeah. Maybe they're not geniuses. Who knows? They made the you talk, have you seen Jupiter's? Okay, so uh, they're not yes, geniuses. I have. Seen enough. This is this is getting back into the uh, Peter Jackson's not a good director like conversation. This is just like maybe he's not. Maybe they're not so great. Mm. Mm. All right. Then. Huh. Wow. Maybe all right. So bring us bring stuff. us into the home stretch for American Psycho Two. How do all these disparate storylines in this plot? Wait, you're using big words for this movie, <laughs> Colin. Because yeah. like I, I understand, <laughs> but the fans. Okay, never mind. There aren't any storylines. There's one basically. Yeah. Right? No, there's two. You got a uh, psychiatrist slowly dawning on him through a bizarre and convoluted case of mistaken identity and uh, and stolen identity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Holly and I have theorized that he's Canadian, and that's why he is immune to her killing abilities and charm. Because because mm-hmm. if you're American, he's so damn you're American, polite. He's so polite, and he his accent gets real crazy he's for a saying, second. There. All right, you keep he's bring, in North America. What you bring you? up the Canadians, and you're you're <laughs> daring me to bring up the Canadian accent again. Now I'm just saying this because I don't want to. Is it? But working? I'm this close to bring in the Canadian accent again. I'm not gonna do it. Right. <laughs> to, to just saying. But but we we think that's why he's like the hero to the the villain that is Mila Kunis because are he's, Canadians immune to North American charms? Is that what you're saying? Well, they are North American. Sean. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, American. Just but to, clearly, uh, it's United, United States, States of America. America. I'm yeah. sorry. I know it's all North America. Yeah. I apologize. I know that's. Oh, man. Because he, he's the only one that can see her for what she is from the get go. Is it because he's Canadian? 
I think that's what it is. <laughs> Why are you imbuing Canadians with superpowers? I mean, they are superior people. I'm taking the evidence the movie gave me and extrapolating. Right. <laughs> but, are they, but is the movie associating it with the Canadians? I mean, like when he at the end of the movie when he's giving a speech about one in a billion, his accent gets out of control there to a point that I was like, is he speaking English here? Oh, it's one in a billion, like, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, truly, truly yeah. one in a billion. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, well, somehow his I mom gets involved it. in the picture. His mother is brought it's, in. Yeah, it's so mother. pointless. What is this? So pointless. What is mother. this? Uh, well, because everybody has to. I mean, at that restaurant at Gerard, you can only take your parents. Apparently, apparently everybody goes there because that's a hip hop. It is the hip, only restaurant hip, in this hot town. place to hang out. Yeah, it's the only hip restaurant. Hot there. place to hang out. I like the way that it's like. Well, we got to go somewhere banging, that's not an Italian place. So we'll go to Gerard's, which is clearly when you the, they're eating Italian food. But whatever. Okay, did it's they a French eat? Place. I didn't see. I didn't, I didn't even pasta look at the food. And they had like chicken Vesuvio. You know, or the French like that. pasta too. It's all right. And see, that's how you know this isn't a true American Psycho that's sequel, because nails. they would have focused on the food a whole bunch if it was yeah. an actual American Psycho yeah. movie. Yeah, she didn't really seem to care about anything, except she does do the, I mean, you know, climbing that ladder, and she eventually, you know, gets delusional thinking that William Shatner's character, well, she no, makes, no, she's not she, delusional. I know, she makes it, it's us reading it wrong. She says, if I, you know... I'm going to meet him and we're going to well, that's her doing it on purpose. Quantico. But what she's actually saying is once I have perfected my series of kills, they're going to talk about me in Quantico or something like that. No, she mm-hmm. does actually get into the program. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I don't think she's trying to like build up a reputation where she's a, a thing they study at Quantico. I don't get that motivation. She does say at the end, if no one knows about my crime, then there was no point in committing it. She yeah. says something right, but to the she's effect also, of that. Is she, well, she's revealed, well, I guess so. Yeah. She wants to be Ted Bundy, but at the same time be the like the person who Quantico investigates taking Ted down Bundy. Ted Bundy yeah. which makes no, her motivation she makes no sense. She wants to take herself down. Yeah, she's like split personality. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She's half Dexter, half Deb, I guess. Right. Mm-hmm. Damn, that sounds really cool when you put it like that, but <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come but out that way. <laughs> the execution, yeah, yeah, is where a little mm. bit leaves something to be desired. Mm-hmm. There is a car chase. Which well, is just like, chase is chase? very very slow, very slow. I th- well, they said it was at sixty miles an hour. Didn't look like it. That's still a fairly fairly slow. That car. was you not can... at sixty miles an hour. <laughs> Maybe thirty. Oh, so slower than highway speed yeah. was this car chase, and it's just two cars, right. and there's no other cars in the road. So, and it's like a country it's road. It's a country road. Yeah. And oh yeah, my god, ladies ride. and gentlemen, Holly was losing her shit because the fucking psychiatrist gets in the passenger seat of the cop car. It doesn't happen. There's two cops and the psychiatrist, and he gets in the front seat, and the cop gets in the back seat. That doesn't fucking happen. <laughs> I have been Civil- arrested three times. <laughs> I know how this works. Civilians cannot ride in the front. Well, and not even when they're off duty. That actually like ruins part of their plan later too, because yeah. there's a part where the cop driving tries to like shoot at her car by like reaching out the window and I think he's just shooting over. in the air. He's but, shooting like, in the air the is like a warning shot. Warning shots. But like, like warning shots. she's already I, a serial no, killer. I on agree the run. that there like, is no point to that. Yeah, <laughs> no point. No point. I'm just saying, oh, that got her to pull over. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you had a cop in the passenger seat, could shot her tires out, and that would have solved that well, whole problem. Well, that's what I was hoping you know? he would do yeah. when that was coming up. But you had a civilian in the passenger seat, so a civilian who you told to take the wheel. Yeah. yeah, that was great too. Yeah. Hold Why on, I got I gotta get my gun. Why don't you take the take wheel? The wheel. I'm just, ah, oh. What are you doing? He might as well have used a knee. He might as well have just used I mean, yeah. the knee. Yeah, like all regular people use yeah. that yeah. knee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he was not super cop, so I mean, you know, I mean we gotta bring this back down to These cops might be Canadian God. too. No. They seemed like when they're introduced, they seem all right. I didn't see a Mountie they're, hat. They're... <laughs> Very true. Uh, but they're reacting to the professor in a way that's just, it seems like it, it's the most natural characters in the story until they get into the quote unquote chase. Because they're just like, yeah, no, we had this thing and that happened. It's like, will, will you guys do me a favor and like go to the thing for anything? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that for you. It's all right. Because they're just, you know, they want to make sure the professor's all right and everything. So they seem all right. But yeah. then we get into the car chase. They're like, oh, I'm going to shoot in the air. <laughs> Maybe they are Canadian cops. Who knows? That's why they're so genteel and like, hey, we don't shoot at you. We just kind of shoot. You know, oh, no, we'd hurt the car, eh? We don't want to do that. If you would have told me this whole thing was set in Canada and like Mila Kunis was part of like an exchange program, it would make a that lot would more be sense. Better. It would make a lot more sense, <laughs> That'd be better honestly. better comedy. Yeah. Because they are much more lenient with their serial killers up there. And let's right, not forget that William Shatner himself 
is Canadian. Is he really? He sure is. Huh. He sure is. Especially if it, it's American Psycho 2. Like, um, if she's American Abroad. over up there, like, that makes more sense. North American Amer- Psycho North American Psycho. Oh, my God. Guys, we wrote a better movie already. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> North American Psycho, copyright 2017, yeah. Saturday Night Freak Show. Yeah. Oh, no, you were sitting there going, abroad. like, there's American Assassin, American Sniper, American Psycho. We've kind of run the well dry. That's true. Yeah. North American, North American. Psycho. Yeah. North American Assassin. Oh, there's so, there's so much American potential. Sniper. There's a well so of opportunity. <laughs> North American. Everything beauty. Canadian. Yeah, I mean, everything. We'll bears. There's yes. going to be bears. <laughs> moose. Oh, oh. oh, there's going to be moose. Some moose. Some maloons. Some donuts. There's going to be donuts. Maloon? <laughs> loons. Oh, I thought loons. you said maloons. Loons. Oh, yeah. loons. Loons. Well, they call it, what do they call their loonies money? And loonies, loonies and toonies. And they fucking and call their money that. That blows my mind, That's, but okay. Uh, I mean, they're can- everything blows my mind about Canadians. <laughs> yeah. Poutine, have you seen that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. T- Tim Hortons. Go to Tim Hortons. Gravy, gravy on your french fries? Or- yeah. Oh, and cheese? And cheese. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, it sounds like, it sounds like right. the greatest. Sounds pretty that sounds like an American invention. Yes, exactly. How did this come from Canadians? Free healthcare? Right? Am I right? Yeah, sounds great to me. You can eat all the poutine you want. And yes. Who cares right. if you get heart disease? <laughs> they have the poutine, like, uh, if you're going through, like, oh, I need to sign up for insurance, eh? Like, what options do you have? Oh, like, oh, the poutine one. I'll take that one. <laughs> they just treat the symptoms of long exposure to poutine. Can you mm-hmm. get, like, an IV bag of poutine? I mean, I think that's how you fight it. Yeah. You just, like, have to get you steady straight to the heart. Uh-huh. Yeah. The antidote. All right, well, do we have any stray observations to finish up our I mean, discussion on American Psycho 2 before we head toward wrap-ups. Yeah, the ending of this movie. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, because I want to slap the shit out of this professor. <laughs> like, what is, what, what, the he's professor. The, the professor. So the shrink. The shrink. The psychologist, not the yeah. professor, the yeah. psychologist. Nick Knight, vampire detective. Yeah, the vampire detective is a fucking idiot. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Why this I mean, time? Everybody, but just because, like, we get to the end, he's like, he's written his story about the what the Rachel Newman that was her, mm-hmm. her, yeah, her yeah. stolen name, her in alias, this movie. yeah, yes, her alias in this movie, uh, the Rachel Newman's Newman own? murders, <laughs> <laughs> Newman's uh, own murder, New- Newman's, Newman's own, own the murders of Washington <laughs> yeah. University. That would have been great. Uh, nonprofit, yes, mm. <laughs> non for profit mur- murders. <laughs> copyright 2007. <laughs> uh, I copyrighted for last year, by the way. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I mean, you know. That's when he started uh, yeah. copywriting. Yeah, um, uh, but no, he write, he writes this book. What's it called? The One in a billion. One in a billion at the end because he's you know it's a, yeah. a year. The later Rachel he's, Newman killings. Yeah, the Rachel Newman killings. Get a picture of the fucking car blown up. Super up. insensitive. Just it to have like, like a picture of this accident where people were the, like a serial killer and victims yeah. died in just on the cover of your book. But he's given his like you know he's he's made his money off of this horrific incident, well, quote unquote horrific. Um, and he's you know he's written his book, he's signing his things, and then you know she comes back as uh, Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> no joke. Elizabeth McGuire is her name. No, yep. we're we're under the impression that her. Her Disguise. Face, her face is the visual that they think is actually Rachel Newman, right? Yeah. They associate her face yep. with that identity. Everyone yeah. in this movie has face blindness. They all must have because yep. we haven't. Even, we didn't even talk about like the fact that she stole an identity. And no, that, there's no there's, dr- driver's license. So right, like, there's like, evidence that this be, other girl existed. It should be yep. easily trackable that this person existed, yeah. orphan or not. <laughs> yeah. She's on the grid. <laughs> yeah. Especially because technically this movie is a post nine eleven world. So, she enrolled you know. in college. She yeah. there's paperwork. Right. There's like, a picture there's of pictures. her somewhere. Yes, probably yeah. a fingerprint. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, there's dental records because that's how they ID the body that's in the yeah. car. They yeah. even say that. Yeah. Yeah, that's yep. how they think that she's dead. Yeah. <sighs> Where's the real Lizzie McGuire? First of all, she's he, obviously in, dead somewhere. Oh, the, she's dead. No, she's, Lizzie McGuire was the uh, was the teacher's assistant. Yeah, so yeah. she's dead. So she's, she's dead. Definitely probably dead. Yeah. In yeah, probably in the car too. Yeah, she probably put yeah, it in the car. Put a brick on the pedal. But like, she walks up and gets her book signed by the psychologist. She's brazen. Yeah, very. But. He's just like, uh, is that her? I'm like, of course it's fucking her. She's wearing yeah. glasses. This is he's like the Clark this is Kent. Fucking, this the is Clark the hot, or the hot girl in the movie thing. We're just like, oh, she takes off her glasses. She's all, all that. She's beautiful. Oh, he she's knew. All, yeah. he it's the she's knew. all he that. Was, yeah, it is. He was so uh, struck, strucken with fear that he struck was in. unable. Struck in. Struck in. He is strucken. He was strucken. Strucken with fear and was unable to do anything. 
Like, by, by that I mean stand up and go like, oh my god, it's you, security! The security. woman I've just been talking about for the past hour and a half I'm is in, right I'm there! In the FBI, like, uh, her, you know, like, classroom whole, right now. Her whole, strategy, right her whole strategy hangs on the fact that he's not going to turn her in because then he's a fraud. That's yeah. that's her whole strategy. But I mean, it's kind of a. But good it's not strategy. a bad strategy. I it's, will yeah, give you that because it's, like he is hamming it the fuck up with this he book. He's One making it period. sound like he was like BFFs with her and knew her so well when yeah. he had like what like three therapy sessions with her. Yeah, and then uh, the, the, time, the timelines. Fuzzy yeah, in yeah. This fucking movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and but and, that might that might be strong enough to get him to be like, all right, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, Plus she's an agent in the FBI at this point. Yeah, it's just oh, like uh, in like. Uh, forgive like, me for saying gonna, this. Are they going to believe? Although an easy background check would probably prove that she's not who she think who she says she is. In but the fuck, FBI. But <laughs> in the FBI. In the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> It's but it, to me it felt very similar God, to like God in damn it, I need to eat some sugar after this fucking have some buttons. God have some it. buttons, Sean. It reminded me a lot of like in the in the in the Rob Zombie Halloweens, where especially in the second one where Sam Loomis is really just yeah. capitalizing yeah. on yeah. You know, I was the, gonna, yeah, and I was he gonna needs to Michael Myers to go away so that he can keep making money off of his stories of what happened yeah. and stuff. So so maybe that movie took from this movie. Dun 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 North no American movie Psycho took 3. from this movie. Yeah. <laughs> the American Psycho 3. <laughs> Wait, one was that, this could two. turn into like the Ninja series. That was like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2? It was like 2009. Oh, nine? The first right. Rob Zombie's Halloween was well, 2007. Well, that was 2007, yeah. yeah. The second one was 2009, <laughs> so... It's North possible. American Psycho it's 3. Possible. Like, yeah, let's just fuck the name yeah. scheme. Let's just mm-hmm. give it whatever. Yeah. All right. I well, think we're right. done. All right, I think we're done. <laughs> all right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go around the table. We're going to do reviews of American Psycho... Two, where we're going to find out what everyone really thought about it. I have no idea. We're just going to list grievances. <laughs> this, this, this is, is going to be go. the end of this. This Who's is not going to be a review. Yeah. <laughs> but first of all, listen. Sean's so worked up about this movie. He's so worked up. Uh, I got to you. <laughs> got it. I think that's what you... Uh, sometimes I feel like that's what people are trying to do here. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> yes. All right, but first of all, we're going to call our mailman, Igor, to bring us some listener mail. So, Igor... Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thanks, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He can't even look at us right now. He's, he's, holding. he's really mad we made it, We made him <laughs> come downstairs for this. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he does. He stands at the back of the room and just, like, watches the movie and kind of, like, moans at the parts he likes. Like, oh. You know, he put on his old Navy flag T-shirt for this because he was trying to be. You it know, seemed a little tight. Did but, you notice yeah, that? Like, he's trying to be an all-American Igor, but yeah. I think uh, he's. I think he's embarrassed now that he yeah, man, put that much effort you into don't it. Associated yeah, with this. Yeah. Uh, how yeah. can folks get a hold of us? Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter at Sat Freak Show. By email? Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Are you asking questions? Question. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram? Instagram? And, uh, I'm a, uh, Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, Your mail? We hope that you will write in because we love reading your comments and we like knowing. We, we sure that do. You're out there I following know. along, but, even with American Psycho 2 and watching it. You can watch on yeah. HBO Go if you've got yes, it right now. You yeah, can. You really can. Or you can spend $3 on Amazon. I'm sorry, Holly. I made you do that. It's okay. Uh, so Nick Hammond writes in about American Psycho 2, and he says the first American Psycho is an all-time classic, but this one is abysmal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the man's not wrong. A, uh, okay, so this is from Instagram. Mayonnaise and Bread writes in. What? <laughs> he's Mayonnaise really, and Bread? He's a really good artist. He does a lot of like really cool pop culture drawings. But, okay, but really does, he, does he just eat mayonnaise on bread? I don't know. That's his like artist name. I've met him a I couple love, times. Uh, but. I, I love that Instagram allows for names like that to happen. Because yeah. Instagram, you it's get the fantastic. best names on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And fantastic. I love that it's mayonnaise and bread. Some of them you can't pronounce, but that's okay. Mine, yeah. is, so, mine is so boring. That inspires yeah, me. Yeah, mayonnaise that's and great. bread. But like, I, I think ha- you have to be an artist to have a name like that. I have a couple of, of his oh, prints yeah. and like his business card even says like mayonnaise and bread. Awesome. Nice. That's like the brand for his that's art. That's something so. that you're going to be remembered by. Yeah, exactly. And not mayo. No, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and bread. Fantastic. Not Miracle Whip. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, mayonnaise and Bread says that uh, I couldn't finish it, and now seeing Mila Kunis makes me want to drink whiskey for some reason. 
Right there with you. Well, maybe Wrong. Bill Shatner drink whiskey too. Well, I mean, she's on all those commercials, so I get it. I yeah, get it. Mm. the she's, Jameson she's, commercials. Gotcha, the Jim gotcha, Beam gotcha, girl. gotcha, gotcha. Jim Beam she's is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, she yeah. stamps the barrels and stuff. She, she yeah. stamps the barrels. She makes them like come apart. There was a, I don't know. Connor oh. Knee, real name. Connor Knee Connor writes knee. in, yeah, on Facebook and says, the '90s version of it is so much better. Than the 2017 version. Well, Fuck no, man. Uh, when was the last? I will say, I when was the last you, time Connor you watched it? I have. Uh, I think we have a kinship, you and I. Well, <laughs> Connor, <laughs> it's a club of two. All right. Hopefully, I, Connor it really was, is. <laughs> I, him and me are the only two. I Hopefully, just, Connor no, listens I've, to that episode. Yeah. All right. Yeah, write in if you've uh, listened to the It episode, yeah. what you thought. Talk to Sean directly. Yeah, please. Uh, Jacob Cotner writes in and says, oh, th- sorry, this is about our Pet Cemetery episode. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jacob Cotner writes in and says, I like Pet Cemetery 2 better than the original. Oh. And I think you guys might need to watch it again. It's one of the three good Edward Furlong movies along with Terminator <laughs> 2 and I mean, Brain that's... Scan. <laughs> I've never seen it, so I mean. What about American History X, dude? Oh yeah, yeah. That's American a History good X is a Furlong fucking movie. good movie. Yeah, what about Night of the Creeps? Am I right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, the right. movie's good. I like <laughs> that movie. Wow, you caught Colin off guard. Like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that movie was fun. Yeah. Well, he says he watches Pet Cemetery too at least once wow. a year. It's something he doesn't uh, do with the original. I'm shocked. Uh, Sean Roger writes in. I'm sorry, we can't have another Sean associated with this show, so this is your last comment. On <laughs> is this your one. name Bean now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. yeah your name yeah. is Bean. I mean, re- no, I don't want that nickname. <laughs> Bean. Well, Sean writes in and says, uh, <laughs> we hope you will write in more, Sean. Thanks for listening. He says, I do, Sean. One of yes, the, uh, I appreciate other Sean's. How do you spell his name? Is it the same? The same way you spell Thank your you. All right, then he can continue to write it. I don't club of Sean's. Yeah, the club of Sean's. <laughs> See, I'm threatened by other Hollies. I want more. Oh, no, I want more. Like, yeah. I, I want need more Hollies writing in. I don't, I want ever, the I don't club ever of other, meet other Michaelas, so I don't I'm know what it's like. I'm very threatened by other Hollies. I feel like I have to, like, live up to higher expectations. That's probably a good attitude to take towards other Hollies. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, because I feel like they occupy the same space you do. Yeah. So it's just like, you need to be like, like no, I feel like is... we're all competing. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think so. But I'll take the club of Sean's. Like the more Sean's, yeah, Sean's I can get, the better. I feel like we're well. more friendly. Yeah. This yeah. Sean says one of the one of the few mo- moments. Colin's like, I just want to read the fucking mail. <laughs> we still got to get the wrap ups uh, about Pet Cemetery. Sean says one of the few moments in a horror movie that ever disturbed him is when Gage cuts through Judd's Achilles tendon with a scalpel that Ugh. stuck with me and every now and then I think of it and shudder. Yeah, yeah it makes yeah. my leg hurt. Like It I does. I bend it. my yeah. leg and like, ugh, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel com- it. I commented back to this guy. I was like, we literally all groaned at this point when we watched it. All four of us. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I, so, I, so I work with a guy who and he was just telling me this, like, right after we watched it. He um he plays basketball, and he tore his Achilles tendon playing uh, basketball. And he said when it tears. Uh, like, oh, God, no, no. He said you can actually hear it pop. Uh, <laughs> 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 <No>! <laughs> God. Uh, Nick Siebel writes in and says, Now being a father of a two-year-old boy, it's even more heartbreaking to watch Pet Cemetery." It's a tough it's watch terrifying, now it? more than ever, and it's become a fear of his because of how easily distracted toddlers can be and how quickly they move. But that being said, Pet Cemetery is easily one of the top five Stephen King adaptations ever made. Yes. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that is the ter- terrifying thing about kids. Like, they don't pay attention and they move fast. Mm-hmm. That combination is horrifying. Yep. As a cat owner... Also terrifying. <laughs> they don't pay attention and they move fast. Also terrifying. Sean, you're our only resident parent, so yeah, we, it's we, not, yeah, just, mm. you have to speak for that. I took yeah. the death of the cat really hard, guys. Yeah, cat owner, church. Yeah, <laughs> they should have just called him Winston. They should have just called him Winston. Mm-hmm. Way better name. Mm-hmm. Missed out on the sequel. Wait, what was the, what was the pet's name in the sequel? It was a dog. I haven't seen this. I don't know. I don't know. Ask uh, what's was, his name. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot the name. Uh, but it was a dog, I believe. Like, yeah, uh, Jake, you have to let us know. Maybe a husky. Yeah. Uh, so Light that brings us to so we're gonna find out what everybody thought of American Psycho two. If you didn't get the vibe already, <laughs> I know is this just redundant? Are we done? It's gonna be quick. I'll tell you that. It's gonna okay. be quick. Okay, we'll just go. Like, did you like American? Are you recommending? Just, okay. just, 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 just do it. Just, just do what you do. Off, Treat it like Master any other ceremonies. <laughs> Colin, what did you think? Of American Psycho 2. Run. Run far the other way. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Awful movie. It's one of the worst movies we've ever... No. Uh, kill it with fire. <laughs> kill it with fire. No, it's just... Uh, I think... You know, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen by a long well, stretch. So, 
I, and uh, uh, Mila Kunis is appealing in the movie, so there's that. But it commits the most deadly sin of a movie, which is is boring. boring. As, it's just mm-hmm. boring. Uh, and that's the problem. You're ahead of it the whole way, it seems, aside from the beginning, where it's like, oh, what are they doing here? And then I'm like, nope, we're just settling into this thing. It's, uh, as Sean said, the script is like very basic and rote, and uh, the directions without any kind of style, flair, or anything. And everybody's just kind of going through the paces, and it's really a cash grab. I think that's the only reason that it exists. And it doesn't need to. And you should run screaming away from American Psycho 2. And somebody says, you should watch this. Say no. Just say no. Just Holly. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, the exact same thing that Colin said. It was really boring. Um, uh, we had a lot of fun making fun of it. That's that's the most positive thing I can say. <laughs> Bad movies for good shows. <laughs> Shatner was uh, pretty much everything you expect from Shatner. Uh, Mila Kunis can do way better. And the script was one of the worst scripts ever. It was just awful. It was so awful. No, just no. Absolutely no. <laughs> Absolutely no for no. Molly. Big, giant no. Whew. Uh, yeah, the script is bad. Uh, like Hansa, I mean, Mila Kunis is like, I mean, I suppose that's why she's, uh, uh, kept going and advanced on in her career. Cause she's, you know, to watch her, it's like, it's interesting or it's fun to watch. So she's got that going for her, but, uh, the script is bad. It is, it's very, it feels very amateurish. It's just like, I do, oh, boring as all hell. And everything we said before that's wrong with this movie. Uh, I, I, this is no, I don't know. Yep. No. See? See? It is. It's yeah. no. It's don't no. don't watch this it's movie. No. Like like the it's a sin that this has the title American Psycho 2. Like I did yeah. not expect to make you so worked up over that. Uh, like I did not ex- Like I honestly thought you might enjoy this a little bit. No, so I'm surprised maybe, that you're so worked up it's over just, it. It's uh, just but it's only I mean it's the association with American Psycho is what pisses me off cuz I, I American Psycho that. is as such far as I'm concerned, it's such it's a, a great movie. A I, I really, really like that movie. And just the cash grab of naming this, that, and everything. Like, even, but even as like a standalone movie, it, it's, even if it was no association with American Psycho, it's not good. It's oh, just yeah. very, just. You mm. know what? It feels like if you were to add some nudity, it could be on Cinemax late at night. Like, that's, that would be like, the, we need. That, that is that's, missing. It's like, it it, is, it's an but, exploitation movie without the gore and without the nudity. Yes, it's like, well, then what's the fucking what's point of doing it? What's the fucking point? Yeah. There's yeah. nothing in it. Like, even like, if you get to your base level of making movies, it's mm. like, why are people going to watch this? Like, if we have nothing else, we have gore or we have nudity. Like, that's. For the from like the beginning of time till now, yeah, those are like the two ingredients for quote unquote horror movies. They're just like if we've got nothing else, we have these things that will draw in an audience, and we can at least get a move with that. This has none of that, which Mm -hmm. I mean, it has no saving graces. Mm -hmm. Uh, (laughs) Avoid American Psycho two at all costs. Yeah, no. So I've seen this movie three times. Jay. Um, the first time I watched it with my boyfriend, as soon as the condom kill happened, he was like, "I cannot watch this anymore. Turn it off right now." Um, but good is man. this current boyfriend, old boyfriend, current boyfriend? Okay, okay. Good, uh, man. good man. And like he, he, when I told him I had picked this, he was like, "Why do you hate your co-host so much?" That was like, we want to know like, the same thing. I also, yeah, like reveal something to us. Uh, like, I just want to say, Metal Storm is it, this is my <laughs> oh, for Metal Storm. Oh, 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 like that's. So like, I want a t-shirt that says, this is my metal store. Yeah. I'm just going to wear on movies where it's just like, on the back it says, fuck you. Because yeah. that's what it feels but like. But that means that you actually like this movie. Uh, no, I don't like this movie. I really don't. I like don't. Metal Storm, damn it. I don't like this movie. That's but, the problem, Colin. <laughs> I know. But I feel like people forget this movie exists, and it's so bad that I feel like we shouldn't let these people get away with it. That's how I feel like. <laughs> you know like, what? That's a good reason to bring like, a movie like I this. Feel like, don't you forget what you did. Like I feel like <laughs> Mila Kunis and Bill Shatner need to pay for what they did. God you know? damn you, like, Mila I feel like, like they're so trying. So you want people to be aware? It's like, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. We will not let the Holocaust be forgotten. Yes. <laughs> This happened, I and I'm so sorry that I associated this with the Holocaust. I want people Very to know sorry. that, like, they fucked up hugely, and, like, <laughs> they all try to bury this, but, it, like, and, like, 
But at the same time, it's on Netflix every once in a while. Yeah. It's on HBO Go. It pops yeah. up in yeah. weird places Look, all yeah, the time. Yeah, you, you rake in that bad mom's money. You remember <laughs> what you did. <laughs> yeah. Right. Every time you think you're in your house, like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. And you remember American Psycho, too. I so kind of. front like William Shatner at conventions. You bring this up and you're like, I, I want, could. I want I my money no, back. No, no, no. No. Uh, no. William Shatner is not the one I confront about this movie because leave the shadow. I expect alone. this from William <laughs> Shatner. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't have a high bar Morgan for him. Morgan Freeman, goddamn it. Morgan, Morgan yeah. J. Freeman. J. Freeman. Even if it's the wrong one, <laughs> you go in there and you fucking attack him. Yeah. Would this have been better narrated by Morgan Freeman? Direct, yes, I, it would have been better directed by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah. um, this would be such a fucking anomaly if it was actually directed by Morgan wouldn't Freeman. It? Oh wouldn't it? Oh my god. Yeah. But okay, amazing. So obviously, the first one is. Is a modern classic. It is something untouchable that can never be recreated again. It is a product of its time, and it's it's an adaptation of a of an excellent book. But and this movie is none of those th- none of those things. Like, <laughs> guys, this movie is not the hill I'm willing to die on. Like, I did not bring this to be like try to convince we you. We might kill movie. you on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> just to just end, but like okay. I did, I did not. But bring we'll this do it off to, camera. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Like, Igor, I, kill. <laughs> I did not bring this to try to convince you it's a good movie. Okay, good. I just want people to know it exists. Because I feel like people don't. And then once you say the names that are attached, they're like, how have I never heard of this? Because those exact true. people are trying to hide it. Yeah. You know? Um, but it is... It I is, respect those reasons. Yeah. But it is full of lies. Like, every inch of the... Every, 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 every inch of this video box cover we're looking at is lies. It is not angrier, not deadly or not sexier there's no sickle in it it is not a sequel to this movie it and it's a shame because like i said mila kunis was like not hurting for money at this point in time so there's no reason for her to de- debase herself by doing this movie but it's terrible i mean it's it's got some ridiculous early 2000s fashion in it that's pretty interesting but like it's not worth watching just for that because you can get that out of cursed that we did earlier yeah. or like any other kind of more watchable early 2000s mm-hmm. movie um like i'll watch fucking scream yeah exactly that shit, and you know? i kind of feel like this movie was hoping to capture a little bit because of that. i'm pretty sure that like the guy who the the guy who's like one of her arrivals is wearing a, uh, an outfit similar to what Randy wears in the first scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a green sure. short sleeve it's, shirt. It's got the kind of it's the hair. Of the yeah, time. It feels it's, like yeah. It, yeah. Like, yeah. like like this movie just it, it I would say go on YouTube and watch like the condom choking scene cuz that's pretty entertaining <laughs> and then that's it. Like that because it never gets any better than that. Like that's probably the best it gets and yeah. then it just goes downhill go, from there. Go watch American Psycho cuz you love yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, exactly. If you really yeah, care right. you about yourself, treat yourself nice <laughs> yeah. for you want to put on some yeah. columns in the background, light yeah. some candles, have a good dinner and watch American Psycho. Yeah. Yeah. If you really care about yourself, yourself. go watch American Psycho. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and if you have not seen it, why the fuck haven't you seen it yet? Cuz it's an uh, amazing movie. Uh but this one, yeah, just go watch the condom strangling scene on YouTube and that's it. You don't need to see anything. Else. Else. I wouldn't recommend it. Would it have been better if it was? Uh, I can't. I don't know if I can bring that. Say it. Up. Just if say it. Was, just if it. it was a full condom, like if it was like Ew. the. Well, but that I mean, it like had it a gross gets, factor. It, right, it, the gross yeah. something, something, yeah. something. The, the way she, factor of some sort. The way she kind of like shakes it out, or right. she done gross me out a little bit. Like even though I knew it gross. wasn't used, but like the way she just like kind of flipped it. I mean, the condoms yeah. are like just gross and yeah, the fact in that general. they're condoms. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. But the way she like It's their nature. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the nature of condoms The nature is of gross. the condom. Yeah. Yeah. It's just gross. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't recommend. Go watch the condom scene on YouTube. Another movie. We gotta start at totaling these up when somebody brings a movie that they don't recommend. It's happened a, I know. a I think, lot. I think if this you look is my first history, one. Like, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot. That I have not like, recommended. I can't recommend this one. Maybe, Maybe I didn't. Metal, me. I may not I've have recommended Metal Storm. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Have to go back and listen. You, to that I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did. You yeah, recommended it. I probably did. So next week we're going to be hearing from Colin. Oh shit! <laughs> what are we going to be watching next <laughs> next week? Sean didn't know who it was. <laughs> Why do you got to pull, pull the curtain back? After all <laughs> that behind the scenes, like you could I tell t- by your the not I confidence know, in your you voice. You could tell, but they couldn't. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle about it. <laughs> God damn it, Colin! What are we watching next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show? All right, so I've been thinking about doing this for a while. I've been like, no, no, I shouldn't. So against I my, shouldn't. I you shouldn't. He says against my. Uh, Guys, guys, you just all gave me so much shit for this movie. <laughs> Keep that in mind when you listen to what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm probably setting myself up for the same thing next week. So we're going to watch uh, a very psychedelic movie. We're going to go Beyond the Black Rainbow 
from oh, uh, oh, all 2011 right. or something like that. So, yeah, okay. I am fully prepared for you all to hate me. But maybe you won't. I mean, maybe hey, we watched, uh, you know, Repo, so I hate you and already. And Dune. Yeah. And, and Dune. So, you yeah. know, kind you of might my, have the worst reputation going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> on your oh. own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, it should be picking something more mainstream. You no, 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 no. I would never tell you to pick something yeah. more mainstream. You pick, the, you pick this shit. Yeah, that's right. Keep so picking gonna, it, Colin. We're going to dive deep into the cinematic reservoir. Beyond the Black Rainbow. That's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.